Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, people of God. You're welcome in the name of Jesus. It's the fourth watch, hallelujah. It's been so awesome and explosive since morning. I want to welcome everyone to the fourth watch of this watch's prayer. The Lord is said to do you good for everyone on the prayer line and those who are watching live on Facebook. You're welcome to the fourth watch. And we'll be praying at this time. Can we just appreciate the Lord? Let's exalt God. Let's say thank you to Jesus. Father, we praise you. Father, we worship you. Father, we exalt you. We magnify you. There's none like unto you, Jesus. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Thank you, Most High God. Thank you, I am that I am. Thank you, the Holy One of Israel. We magnify you, Jesus. We praise your holy name. You are a faithful God. You are wonderful. Lord, I exalt you. I praise you, Jesus. I give you praise. Can you just worship the Lord? Can you exalt him? Can you give him praise? Give him all the glory. Give him all the honor. Father, we say thank you. Thank you, God of all flesh. Thank you, the Holy One of Israel. Thank you, the I Am of Israel. Father, we say thank you. Father, we magnify you. We praise your holy name. Jesus, we honor you. We exalt you. We adore you, Jesus. We magnify you. We praise you for who you are. Can you thank the Lord? Can you worship him? Can you magnify him? Can you give him praise? Can you give him all the glory? Can you give him all the honor? Father, we say thank you. Thank you, God of all flesh. Thank you, the Holy One of Israel. I magnify you, Jesus. <clears throat> Can you praise him? Somebody praise him. Somebody worship him. Somebody exalt him. Give him all the praise. Give him all the glory. Give him all the honor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. Somebody worship his majesty. We worship your majesty, Jesus. We magnify you, Jesus. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. Take all the adoration. Rama shikora makashirea. Le mozo zekora makapakara makashirea. Le kabazo zekora makashirea. Rama zopara makashirea. Father, we worship you. Father, we exalt you. Father, we magnify you. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you glory. Be exalted, Jesus. Be magnified, O oh God. We exalt you. We worship you. You are a faithful God. You are a mighty God. You are exalted. Above all the gods, there is no like unto you. We honor you, Jesus. We honor you, King of glory. The Aham of Israel. The Holy One of Israel. We praise you, Jesus. We praise you for who you are. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your goodness. Can somebody worship the Lord? Can somebody praise the Lord? Can somebody magnify him? Give him all the praise. Father, we say thank you. Father, we honor you. Lord, we magnify you. Lord, we praise you. To you be all the glory. Father, thank you. Thank you, I am of Israel. Thank you, the Holy One of Israel. Thank you, the God of all flesh. We praise you, Jesus. Be glorified, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen and amen. I want to welcome us all to the fourth watch of this watch's prayer for everyone on the prayer line and for those who are connecting live on Facebook from Canada here, from Nigeria, from New Zealand, from Tanzania, from South Africa, from Botswana, from the UK. I want to welcome everyone from wherever. You can share this video. Um, beloved of God, we started talking about your sons and daughters will prophesy. And I want to challenge you as we begin to pray again tonight. The Bible says your sons and your daughters will prophesy. If I will ask you, would you like your sons and daughters to prophesy? Oh yes, I want my sons and daughters to prophesy. I want them to speak the mind of God. I want them to love the Lord. You want your sons and your daughters to prophesy. It is the promise of the Holy Spirit to your sons and to your daughters. The Bible says they will prophesy. They will prophesy. They will speak the mind of God. You know, a few minutes back before I came online, one of the things I was sharing with someone here was this. 
When the Bible says, your sons and your daughters will prophesy. This is what the Bible means. When they begin to prophesy, they will begin to speak the mind of God. They will begin to speak the counsel of God. Hallelujah. Do you want your sons and your daughters to speak the counsel of God in mathematics? The counsel of God in medicine? The counsel of God in accountancy? The counsel of God in law? That's part of the promise. When the Bible says they will prophesy, it means that they will speak the counsel of God. They will speak the mind of God. <clears throat> they will speak the mind of God in engineering, in this, in that. So the Bible says, your sons and your daughters will prophesy. Beloved, it is not my desire, my prayer for you. That your sons and your daughters will be locked up somewhere, wasted away. I desire and I pray that your sons and daughters will stand before the Lord, will be for signs and for wonders. When your sons and daughters, when they begin to prophesy, according to Acts of the Apostles chapter 2 verse 17, they are for signs and wonders. They will speak the mind of God. They will speak, oh, Lema Shekora, they will speak things into existence. And I want us to pray tonight. Oh, oh Jesus. I want us to pray tonight. Let's begin praying before I go into the exhortation. I want you to pray to the Lord tonight. Lord, let your prophetic hand rest upon my children, upon my sons and my daughters. I want you to pray, Lord, let your prophetic hand, let the prophetic aura, let your prophetic aura, let it rest upon them. Let the spirit of prophecy, the grace for prophecy, let it rest upon my children. Can we begin to pray in the name of Jesus Christ? Somebody, can you pray? Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. Let your prophetic hand rest upon my children. Let your prophetic hand rest upon my sons and my daughters. Let your prophetic hand rest upon my sons and my daughters. Let your prophetic hand rest upon my sons and my daughters. Daughter. Can you pray? Somebody pray. Somebody on the prayer line pray. Somebody watching live on Facebook, why not pray now? That the prophetic hand of the Lord will rest upon your daughter. That the prophetic hand of the Lord will envelop your daughter. Will envelop your son. Can you pray now? Can you pray now? Can you pray now? Rama Sheko Lema Can you pray that the prophetic hand of the Lord will rest upon your sons? Will rest upon your daughter in the name of Jesus. For everyone on the prayer line, can you pray? Can you pray? Can you pray? That the prophetic hand of God will rest upon your sons and your daughter. They will begin to gravitate towards the will of God for their life. They will not miss their place in destiny. That they will not miss their place in destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can you pray that your children will not miss their place in destiny? Can you pray that your children will not be lost in this world? That they will fulfill prophecy. Their mandates, they will fulfill prophecy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can you pray? Say, Lord... Let my children fulfill destiny. Can you pray? Say, Lord, let my children fulfill destiny. Let them fulfill the prophetic mandate of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can you pray? Can you pray? Can you pray? Lord, let my children fulfill prophetic destiny. Let them fulfill prophetic destiny. Let the prophetic unction of the Lord. Let it rest upon my children. Let it rest upon my sons and my daughters. Let it rest upon my sons and my daughter. Let the, let the prophetic grace of God, let it distinguish my sons and my... Can you pray? Lord, let your prophetic grace distinguish my sons and my daughters. Can you pray tonight? Can somebody pray tonight? Let your prophetic grace, let it distinguish my sons and my daughters, oh God. Let your prophetic grace distinguish my sons and my daughters, oh God. Can you pray? Let my shekho rama kapa karama kashire. Let my zo zeko rama kapa karama kashire. Je my zo zeko rama kapa karama kashire. Let my zo zeko rando sofe karama kapa karama kashire. Let my zo barama kashire. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Beloved of God. I want to quickly share something with us as we continue in the spirit and the flow of prayers. The Bible says, um, the other time, Pastor Ibe was sharing with us about the case of Samuel. 
And it's one of the examples I have written here in my notes. You know, I pointed it out to us the other time that there was a man in the Bible called Philip. He was one of those that were chosen. He was one of the deacons that were chosen. Philip, Acts of the Apostles chapter 6. Let's quickly look at Acts of the Apostles chapter 6 quickly. Acts of the Apostles chapter 6. In Acts of the Apostles chapter 6, the Bible says, Now when the, in those days the number of the disciples began to increase, and then they chose, I want, I want to connect something. For every parent watching and listening, I want you to connect this as we talk about your sons and your daughters. Take note of what I'm about to read now. In Acts of the Apostles chapter 6, very strategic. And it speaks to your children, your sons and your daughters. And that's what the Lord is saying tonight. In Acts of the Apostles chapter 6, there's a parent here, there's a man here. We don't know his wife. Obviously, he was married. For him to have had four daughters, this man must have been married. In Acts of the Apostles chapter 6, the Bible says in verse 5, and, okay, in, in verse 3, it says, Let, Wherefore, brethren, look here among you, seven men of honest report. Take note. Men of honest report. The Bible now says, Full of the Holy Ghost and wisdom, whom we may appoint over this business. Now, in verse 5, the Bible says, And the same pleased the people, and they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and Holy Ghost, and Philip, they chose Stephen, they chose Philip, and Prochorus, and Nicamo, and Timno, and Parmenas, and Nicholas, a proselyte of Antioch. So, when they chose men of honest report, when they chose people that were said, they chose Philip. Philip was selected. You know why? He was available for the service of God. And God paid him back. This Philip that was chosen was the same Philip. We're going to read now in Acts of the Apostles chapter 21. What God did for this Philip. I am praying for every parent watching and on the prayer line. I am praying the Lord will reward your service and your labor in the vineyard of the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. My prayer is that you will not labor in vain in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that your, your labor, your, your labor night and day in prayers, in intercession, sacrifice, hard working, and what have you, diligence for your children will not be wasted in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for every parent watching, every parent watching, your labor over your children will not be in vain in the name of Jesus Christ. You, you, your effort will not go down the drain as a waste in the name of Jesus Christ. You will be massively rewarded. You will be greatly rewarded in the name of Jesus Christ. In Acts of the Apostles chapter 21, now, we talked about the fact that Philip was chosen. Beloved, anything you find yourself doing in the house of the Lord, do it well. Be committed. Stay focused. Give yourself to God. Give yourself to service. Continue whatever the Lord has chosen, has given you to, the grace to do. Continue doing it. In Acts of the Apostles chapter 21, when the writer of the book of Acts began to describe the daughters of Philip, the description was so apt. In Acts of the Apostles chapter 21, look at the description. Verse 8, verses 8 and 9. In verse 8, the Bible says, And the next day, we that were of Paul's company departed and came into Caesarea. And we entered into the house of Philip. Don't forget that it was that same Philip that was staying at Caesarea that great and mighty things happened in his house. Beloved, can I say this and encourage us? Let your house be a house of prayer. Do morning devotion. Do evening devotion. Call your children. Study the word of God with your children. Pray with your children. Ensure that your children study God's word. Study the word of God together. I tell you, for those of you who read my post on Facebook, the idea of doing this watches prayer for me as an individual, I was influenced by my late father. My father died 22 years ago. The influence of this watches prayer came from home. 
in my family at home, every three hours, almost every time, we ring the bell and we pray. Ten minutes, sometimes ten minutes, sometimes, sometimes even one hour we pray. And it was a daily family routine. They brought us up, they groomed us to pray. Beloved, this same feeling, I believe, even though we didn't, we, there was no reference to his wife, the same thing, I believe, must have happened in the house of this Philip. His house was a place of worship. He allowed the tabernacle of God to rest in his house. Beloved of God, yeah, I want us to pray. Allow God's tabernacle to rest in your house. Allow, let your house be a house of prayer. Beloved, it will be a shame if in your family, if in your house, you don't pray with your children in a year, once, even in a month, there's no time of praying with your children. Beloved, that's a great shame. Ensure you pray with your children. Ensure you teach your children the way of the Lord. So that when you begin to say, what the Bible says, that your sons and your daughters will prophesy. And then your young men will see visions. I'm coming to that in a short while. When your young men begin to see visions, they begin to see into the supernatural. Excuse me. The Lord begins to give them insight into deep mysteries. Kingdom mysteries. Mysteries about their career, about their family, about the word of God, about their life. Even about their own children too. Your young men, the Bible says, will see visions. God wants your young men to see visions. So this feeling, I believe, must have been a man of prayer. They pray in his house. And I told you I'm a product of that. We pray in our house every three hours. Now for those of us who are in the Western world, say, well, I'm in Canada, I'm in the US, we are so busy. It's okay. Beloved of God, but let me tell you the truth. We are in a system whereby if you don't show your children the way of the Lord, you show them every other thing, and you don't show them the way of the Lord, there will be disaster. I am praying. Can you pray this prayer before I go on? Can you talk to the Lord? Lord, let my house be a house of prayer. Let my house be a house of prayer. Can you talk to the Lord? Can somebody pray? Oh, Lord, let my house be a house of prayer. Can you pray to the Lord? Lord, let my home be a house of prayer. Let my house be a house of prayer, oh God. Let my own be a house of prayer in the name. Can you pray? Can you talk to the Lord? Let my house be a house of prayer. Let my home be a house of prayer. Let my family, let my house. Oh Lord, let your press, let your presence be resident in my family. Let your presence be resident in my home. Can somebody pray? Someone on the prayer line, why not pray? <laughs> Someone on Facebook life, why not pray now? Let your presence be resident in my family. Let your presence be resident in my home, oh Lord. Let your presence, let it tabernacle. Let your tabernacle be lifted up in my home, in my family. Let Moses Obarama Kashidea, Jekorama Kapokora Makashidea, Le Kazo Zekora Makashida Liga Daya Magazudea, Rapo Zopa Rama Kashidea, Le Mazo Zekorama Kashidea. Rapo zopa rama kaliga daya magazude ya Levra magazose korando sofe korama kashire Thank you mighty father In Jesus mighty name we have prayed Amen In Jesus name we have prayed Brethren in Acts of the Apostles chapter 21 Verses 8 and 9 I read now Bible says And we entered into the house of Philip The evangelist which was one of the seven and abode with him. Can I challenge you, people of God? When people enter your house, what do they see? What do they feel when they get to your family? When they enter your home, what do they feel? What do they see? The Bible says, these people, they entered into the house of Philip, the evangelist. Don't forget that same Philip preached to the Ethiopian Enoch. He was a man on fire, a man on the move for God. When they entered into the house of Philip, what did they see? They saw something unusual. Look at verse 9. Acts of the Apostles chapter 21, verse 9. What did they see? And they said, this same Philip had four daughters, virgins, which did prophesy. I love that. 
The Bible says Philip had four daughters. I want to check other translations of the Bible. Philip had four daughters. Four. Four daughters. Four daughters. The Bible says they were virgins and they prophesied. I am praying. May the mark of distinction, may the mark of distinction of the Lord be upon your sons and your daughters. The ones that are here now and the ones that will yet come in the name of Jesus Christ. May the mark of the Lord be upon your children. May people see your children and see God in the name of Jesus Christ. I want to, may people get to your home and feel the touch of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. May your children be for signs and for wonders in the name of Jesus Christ. May people meet your children and say indeed, these ones have been with the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ. That is my prayer for you. That is my desire. I want to check out that translation. The way it described the four daughters. Oh, le mo sheko rama kashiria. Rama kapoko rama kapaka rama kashiria. Le ma sheko rama kapaka rama kashiria. Le ma sheko rama kapoko rama kashiria. Le ma sheko rando sofe ko rama kashiria. Le ma sheko rama kapaka rama kashiria. Le ma sheko rando sofe ko rama kashiria. The Bible says, this Philip had four daughters. Four daughters. They did, they were virgin. It means that they were clean. They were clean and they prophesied. I said, they're a combination of purity and prophecy. Excuse me, you want your daughters to be virgins. You want your daughters to be clean. And the one says, the promise of the living is unto your daughters. Philip, I may be wrong, but I think in the entire Bible, apart from the reference of Paul to Timothy, in the entire study of the Acts of the Apostles, it was only of all these deacons that were chosen in Acts chapter 6, reference was only made to the family of Philip that had four daughters and they all served the Lord. I want you to pray. Can you pray this prayer now? That every negative stigma on your son and your daughter, that they will be removed in the name of Jesus Christ. Every negative emblem. Somebody, can you pray now? Can you pray now? That every negative emblem on your sons and daughters will be removed. Can you pray? Can you pray? That every contrary emblem on your sons and daughters, that they will be removed in the name of Jesus Christ. Every emblem that is not of God upon them, can you decree that they will be removed in the name of Jesus Christ? That every negative emblem, can you pray? Can you pray? Can you pray? Can you pray? That every emblem that is not of God upon your daughters, upon your sons and your daughters, that they will be removed in the name of Jesus Christ. Every emblem that is not of God. Can you pray? Oh, every emblem of darkness upon your son. Every mark. Can you pray? Every mark. Every negative mark. Every negative mark. Every negative mark. Upon my sons and my daughter. Oh Lord, remove. Can you pray tonight? Can you beg the Lord tonight? That every negative mark, every negative sign upon my daughters, oh Lord, you will remove upon my sons, upon my sons and daughters. Oh God, you will remove. Oh God, you will remove. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me shake all my That my sons and my daughters, they will prophesy. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Brother, I want you to pray. Lord, put your mark, your mark of goodness and your mark of glory. Put your sign of glory upon my children, upon my sons and my daughters. Can you pray now? Can you pray, Lord? Let your mark, let your symbol, let your sign of glory be upon my sons and my daughters. Can you pray somebody pray? Let your sign, let your mark of glory and honor be upon my sons and my daughter. Let my sons and my daughter, let them be notable. Let them be notable for purity, for purpose, for power, for prophecies. In the name of Jesus. 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 Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Beloved, I want you to pray. According to that Bible passage, 
I want you to pray that your children will begin to give prophetic counsels in their class, whether they be in grade one or grade two or grade three or grade whatever grade. Can you pray that your children will begin to give prophetic counsels to their colleagues, to their classmates, that they'll begin to bring prophetic counsel, that they'll begin to speak for prophetic counsels at church, in school, at home, in the community, wherever. Can you pray that your children will begin to speak prophetic counsel? Can you begin to pray in the name of Jesus Christ? That your children will speak prophetic counsel. They will speak the mind of God. They will speak the will of God. That the Lord will prove prophetic counsel in the mouth of your children. Can you pray in the name of Jesus Christ? In the mouth of your sons and your daughters. That they will begin to speak prophetic counsels. In the name of Jesus Christ. That your children will speak prophetic counsel. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can you pray? Can you pray? That your children will begin to speak prophetic counsel. They will bring forth prophetic counsel. That your children will speak for prophetic counsel. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you mighty father. In Jesus mighty name we have prayed. Amen. You know, when, when they got to the house of Philip, the, the only description, the two things, beloved of God, the two things that they saw about the, the, the daughters of Philip, how they knew they were virgins, I don't know. But it must have been revealed by prophecy. How? Because they were clean. They were neat. They were decent. And that's one of the things missing in this generation. When we go to churches, when we see our daughters today, they are not decent. Many of our daughters now, they dress indecently. When we see them, we can't see any sign and symbol of purity in their lives. Parents, I want to challenge you. Let the dressing, let the image, let the public image of your children of your sons and your daughters, let me glorify God. Don't just say, well, let them dress any out. Let them look any out. No way. No way. No way. Let your children, let people see them and see decency and see sanity. Let people see them and see people who are moderate. Let people see them and see people who are modest. Let people see them and see people who are children that will, that will, that will, that will be worthy of reference, positive reference is for good. Let your daughters dress well. Let them look neat. Let your sons be decent. Don't indulge. Don't con indulge them. Don't condone anything that will not showcase the spiritual and the inner beauty of the Lord in your daughters, in your sons. Let them be positive examples for good. Beloved of God, the Bible says, and the same had four daughters, virgins, which did prophesy. You know what I want to bring out there before I show you one scripture? And before one of my brothers will come in to pray with us and join us now. Beloved, the Bible says they were virgins and they prophesied. That means they fulfilled that Acts of the Apostles chapter 2 verse 17. They fulfilled that passage. They, their destiny, their life gravitated towards that passage and they fulfilled it. I want you to pray tonight. I want you to pray tonight. Can you mention the name of your sons and your daughters and begin to declare that in the name of the Lord you will speak you will fulfill destiny. You will speak prophetic counsel and the Lord is saying to me some of our daughters and sons will bring about prophetic there will be prophetic voices to the nation. They will do, begin to do prophetic acts and actions. Take note. I want you to pray. Let me pick you one by one. That God, you will cause my children to give prophetic counsel. That's number one. Number two, I want you to pray. That my children will begin to display prophetic acts and actions. in the name of, Can you pray in the name of Jesus Christ? Can you pray that your sons and your daughters will begin to display prophetic acts and actions. Can you talk to the Lord? Elamo zoba rama kashi karama kashi dea. Levra ma zoze korama kashi dea. Je korama kashi dea. Oh Lord, that our sons and our daughters 
will begin to speak prophetic cancer. They will speak the mind of God. There will be a light. They will bring God trances that will turn lives around. That will bring changes in the name of Jesus. Can you pray that they will bring? They will begin to display prophetic acts and actions by faith in the power of the Holy Ghost. Can you mention the names of your children? Mention the name of your sons and your daughters. David just to defend me. That they just to follow me. Moyo, Mofe, Mololua. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, can you de declare? Can you mention their names? Ela Mashikora Makashire. Le Mazose Kora Nasode. Reobat. Can you mention their names? Mention the names of your children. They will begin to speak prophetic cancer. They will begin to speak prophetic word. And they'll begin to display, they'll begin to manifest prophetic acts and prophetic actions by the power of the Lord. That my children, your sons, your daughters will begin to manifest prophetic acts and actions by the power of the Holy Spirit. In that name, can you mention the names of your children? That they will begin to manifest prophetic acts and actions, prophetic acts and actions. Prophetic acts and action. They'll begin to display prophetic acts and action by the living of the Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Can you pray that your children will not be bewitched? Your sons and daughters will not be bewitched. They will not be manipulated. They will not be manipulated. But but they will walk in prophecy. They will demonstrate prophecy. They will speak the mind of God. They will speak to nations. They will speak to systems. They will speak to government. They will speak to families. They will speak to homes. In the name of Jesus Christ. That your sons and daughters will fulfill prophecy. We work in prophecy. We live by prophecy. We desire prophecy. They will prophesy. They will prophesy. They will prophesy. They will give prophetic counsel. They will display prophetic wisdom. They will display prophetic wisdom. Hey, my sons and daughter, can you decree? My sons and daughter, we display prophetic wisdom, prophetic counsel, prophetic excellence, prophetic knowledge, hey, prophetic art, prophetic actions, prophetic worship, prophetic intercession, a prophetic lifestyle that glorifies God in the name of Jesus. That at the younger age, at the tender age, my children will speak mystery. They will speak prophetic mystery by the power of the Lord, by the glory of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Can somebody pray? Somebody on the prayer line pray. Somebody on Facebook line pray that my children, prophetic action, prophetic cancer, prophetic wisdom, prophetic intercession, prophetic prophetic direction, prophetic advice, prophetic relationship. Can you decree their relationships will be prophetic? They will not be wrongly pure. They will not get they will, they will not be influenced negatively. They will, their relationship, prophetic relationship, prophetic act, prophetic action, prophetic lifestyle in the name of Jesus, prophetic mysteries. They will have prophetic insight. Hey, can you call? Mention the name of your children. Pray for your children. Prophetic insight, prophetic direction, prophetic creativity, prophetic ingenuity, prophetic mastery, prophetic skills, prophetic wisdom, prophetic knowledge to excel, to tower high in the name of Jesus. Rama Sheko Rama Kapaka. Can we pray the Holy Ghost? Can we pray the Holy Ghost? My brother, come. Let's pray the Holy Ghost. Rama Sheko Rama Kashine. Jema So Seko Rama Kashine. Le Mazo Barama Kashine. Jama So Seko Rama Kashine. Le Mazo Barama Kazo Da Ligedeya. Jama So Barama Kashine. Jama So Seko Rama Kashine. Le Mazo Seko Rama Kashine. Rama Kashine La Marama. Thank you, mighty Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In the name of Jesus, Amen. 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 Beloved of God, the few minutes left. I want my brother. He's here, so he's not connected. He's he's not so he's here live. Praise the Lord. So it will take the next ten minutes. We just have eleven minutes left. You know, your sons and daughters. I want, before I, before when we when, by the time we meet at nine, I will say Bible says, and they did prophesy. The, these four daughters, four virgin daughters, they fulfilled that scripture. And don't forget, their father was an evangelist. He was chosen among the seven. Their father served the Lord. Their father was committed to God. 
Their father did the things of God. The Bible said when they got to the house, they got to the house at Caesarea. Don't forget, all they saw, all they saw, what Luke saw was that these girls, they are clean. She, Luke saw purity. And I challenge parents again one more time before I hand over to my brother. Let your children be decent. Let your daughters be decent. Let your sons be decent. Let their life correlate with the gospel which you preach and which you profess and which you prof profess and you possess. Let their life show. Let people get to your house and say, no, 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 no. These are clean children. The lives of these children glorify God. How Philip knew they were virgins, I don't know. I mean, how Luke knew they were virgins, I don't know. But I know the Holy Spirit must have revealed to him. Because what he saw in the house, he didn't see children half naked in the house. I'm sure these daughters were not half naked, just going around, messing up. He saw them. He saw the life of God. He saw purity. He saw, he saw righteousness. He saw the glory of God. And said, wow, these four daughters, they, Bible did not say, Bible says they did, that means they were prophesying. He go to the house and they challenge Luke, the evangelist. The same Luke that wrote the book of Luke and Acts of the Apostles. The man must have been challenged. Saw them, wow. He said, he did not say they wanted to prophesy. He said, they did prophesy. Because that was what he saw, and that was what they were doing. My brother, you can take over, sir. Hallelujah. 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 I just feel while we are praying, we are praying that our children, our sons and daughters will prophesy. But I want to tell us that even we, when we had our children, we spoke prophecies concerning them. We said good things, we said wonderful things, and we spoke from the word of God concerning them. But when these children begin to grow, you know, the devil has a way of trotting destiny and trying to interfere with their, with their path, with their destiny. So we're going to pray that the prophecies that have gone ahead concerning our children will stand. They will be established. We're going to pray that precious of this world and the works of the kingdom of darkness, the prince of the earth that tries to interfere with the destiny of our children, we will pray that the hand of the Lord will rest on these children and the influence from outside will not affect them. Let's open them out and begin to pray. That the, the influence Jesus that comes God. from outside that makes my our children, children derail. My sons, the influence my that comes from the outside me. that would want our children to fall by the wayside and not fulfill destiny. Today we lift our voices and we pray that our children will work in prophecy in the name of Jesus. Lord, we have spoken good things concerning them. Even when they came to this world and we named them, we spoke good things concerning them. Their names alone is a prophecy. Lord, we pray today that Father, they will walk in the center of prophecy. They will not fall to the left nor to the right, but they will walk in the center of prophecy looking and walking towards the center of your own excellence. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that every spirit in this world, the spirit of the earth, the spirit that causes children to fall into perdition and to derail, will speak that, Lord, it will not influence them, but rather the force and the power of God and the inside of our children will overpower the world. The Bible says that the light of God shines in darkness and darkness cannot comprehend it. Lord, we pray today that our children will carry the light of God on the inside and when the extremist influence come to engulf them, they will will not falter, they will not fall by the wayside. In the name of Jesus, Lord will speak prophetically, prophetically concerning them, that they will walk, they will move in the center of your will, O God, all the days of their lives in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. We are still going to pray concerning our children. You know, for every child you have prayed for them, you have prophesied. We're going to reestablish the prophecies concerning these children again. Mm -hmm. That these children, what we have said, we said, I and the house that the Lord has given me, we will serve the Lord. Mm -hmm. We have spoken good things that they would live long to show forth the grace and the power and the might of God in this earth. We will pray that God will rest his hand upon them and will move them. God will hold them by the right hand and lead them into destiny in the name of Jesus. Let's open our mouth and pray. The Lord, we prophesy concerning our children, once again, we speak your word concerning our children, once again, the Lord, what you have said concerning them will be established, in the name of Jesus, 
what you have spoken concerning them will be established in the name of Jesus. We we'll pray today that Father, you will hold them by their right hand and you will guide them in the day. The Bible says concerning the children of Israel, the Lord you will let them by the pillar of cloud in the day and the pillar of fire in the night to give them leading and to protect them. Lord, we we'll pray for our children and we we'll prophesy concerning them that they will walk in the way of the Lord. You will be a guide to them by day. You will be protection for them by night. You will keep them in the center of your will. They will not fall. They will not falter. In the name of Jesus, we we'll pray that God, the schemes of the unrighteous will not derail them. In the name of Jesus, you said in your word that the righteous are not like that. The righteous are like trees. They are planted by the rivers of water. They will bring forth their fruit in season. And even out of season, they will produce fruits. In the name of Jesus, Thank you for keeping them in the center of your will, Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. 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 We're going to pray for our sons and daughters. We will pray for their health specifically. Mm. Amen. That they will mm. be strong on the inside mm. and strong on the outside, not Amen. only spiritually, but in their health. Amen. They will be healthy Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's declare the word of the Lord upon them the that these Jesus. children will our be healthy. Sons sons these sons children will be healthy will be in the life. name of Jesus. The Lord will them speak them concerning them. Be your be word says that the boy Jesus grew in stature. The boy growing in stature is a statement of good health. Also growing physically. Lord, we pray concerning these children. The Lord, their health is guaranteed in you. In the name of Jesus. John says, I wish above all things that you be in good health. That you prosper. Lord, we pray concerning our children. They will be in good health. All the days of their life. They will not be children that we will run health. Yes, between the hospital yes. and the home. But Father, they will be healthy in the name of Jesus. We we'll pray that the blood of Jesus will flow through their veins. And whatever is extraneous, whatever does not belong to the body will be washed off in the name of Jesus. Thank you for help. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, mighty God, for what you're doing. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Lord, we are so thankful to you this evening. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you because, Lord, you have spoken your word concerning our children. Yes, Lord. And tonight we'll stand together in unity to proclaim those words. Yes, That Lord. they will stand. Amen. We pray our children will work accurately in prophecy. Amen. The words that have gone ahead of them, that they will be children who will serve the Lord. The word that has gone ahead of them, that they will not die, but will declare the works of the Lord. Lord, they are reestablished tonight Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We we'll pray for our children. The Lord, they will be strong on the inside. Amen. The cells of their body, they receive strength. Amen. The bones of their body, they will be strong. Amen. Their hearts, their liver, every organ of their body, and the cells and the tissues of their body, they receive strength of the Almighty in the name of Jesus. Amen. We we'll pray because these are the children of the Lord. They yes, have been Lord. anointed and bought by the blood of yes, Jesus. Lord. That same blood yes. will flow through their Amen. veins. And anything that does not belong in the body will be passed out in their urine, Amen. in their faces. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for help. Thank you, and Jesus. thank you because these children will serve you. Amen. In Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. 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 Beloved of God, it's just 45 minutes exactly. I just want us to agree together and pray for every of the sons and daughters who has been an object of reproach to any family. Any son and daughter that is an object of reproach to any family. We just want to we just want to pray as a point of contact in the name that is above every other name every son and daughter that is an object of reproach we decree that they will be arrested by the Lord Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. those who are strayed away they will be brought back by the Lord Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. That, hear the word of the Lord that's your same daughter that has brought shame to the family the Lord will turn their lives around. They will bring glory to your family Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. They will bring honor to your family Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I also pray that the children that, has, that God has used 
to bring glory and honor to your family. They will not be, they will not suddenly turn around and begin to bring shame and reproach in the name of Jesus Christ. And I also pray that those who have brought glory to the and honor to the family at some point, that if they won't get to a point that the glory will rather diminish, but they will get to a point that it will be from glory to glory, that they will move from glory to glory, they will move from honor to honor in the name of Jesus. We agree together finally and pray that every family that is shed shedding tears in the secret over any of their children. Any family shedding tears in the secret over any of their children. Any family shedding tears in the secret over any of their children. Let there be supernatural intervention. Let there be prophetic intervention. Let there be supernatural intervention in the name of Jesus Christ. Is it spiritually? Let there be supernatural intervention. Is it over their health? Let there be supernatural intervention. Financially, material, in every dimension, physically in their mental faculty let there be supernatural intervention in the name of Jesus Christ and your sons and your daughters will prophesy, they will be at the center of prophecy and your young men will see vision, they will not be blind, they will not be blind to the things of God, they will not be blind to opportunity, they will have insight, they will have foresight, they will see into the supernatural, they will be a light to those who are in darkness, they will be a light to their colleagues in the school, in the church, in their place of worship, in their community, everywhere they go, they will see inner vision, they will see the upward vision, they will see dimensions of vision, they will see revelation, they will be creative, where things are locked up and boxed in and, and, it's, and, and, and there is so much darkness, the Lord will give them the eyes of an ego to begin to see into them and bring forth solution, they will bring forth creative solution, supernatural solutions, in the name of Jesus, thank you mighty father, thank you king of glory we worship you, we exalt you, in Jesus mighty name we have prayed amen, amen, amen. amen. beloved of God on the prayer line and I want to thank you for connecting we are going to do the last session in about two hours, it will be the last session, and you know the last session is always one hour, 9 to 10 p.m so we're going to do the last session. I want to commend those who are in Nigeria. Thank you for waking up at this time of the middle of the night to pray. The Bible says, oh, watchman, watchman, watch for the night. Your labor, your sacrifice, your commitment to pray for your sons, for your daughter, and even for yourself will not be in vain in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So connect with us again in about two hours, five, ten minutes plus, and then we pray. And that will be the last watch, the fifth watch. And your strength will not fail. I appreciate everyone on the prayer line. The Lord bless and keep you in Jesus' name. Thank you, my brother. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you, brother. Bami Joko, even though he's, he's here. <laughs> brother Shegu Bami Joko is here. Good evening, everyone. God bless you. Amen. So he's saying hi. Thank you all. God bless you. Amen. <laughs>